Hey guys, Dr. Nami here. Uh, thank you for joining this page. Uh, I want to spend some time today talking about counting. Counting is extremely important because for most children, it is actually their very first introduction to what will eventually become mathematics. And a lot of times, uh, kids spend a lot of time learning how to count without really being able to understand the numbers. Um, you know, I'm guilty of this uh, myself when I first started teaching my kids, just asking them to count and initially just having them memorize the numbers. And eventually, they'd memorize the numbers and be able to say it over and over and over again. But when they actually try to use it in a math problem or explain what the numbers uh, meant, it was very clear uh, that they didn't quite understand the number system or what the what they were, what they meant. So, you know, purpose of this video is not only to teach um, how to teach how to introduce counting, but give some rationale to some of the pitfalls that a lot of children tend to struggle with. So that way. The process of counting will lead to what's called number sense, uh, which is just the intuitive sense of what the numbers actually mean. Okay. To start off, I'm going to show a video of my son. And in this video, I've asked him uh, to count. And as he's counting, I want you to notice his body language. Okay. When you look at his body language, he's uninterested. He's just reciting numbers, essentially. So in that video of my son uh, counting, you can see he's essentially uninspired. He's essentially repeating numbers that he's memorized over and over again. The numbers have no real uh, meaning to him. Um, you know, he's just essentially re reciting things, okay? Um, instead of asking kids just to memorize the numbers, what I would do is use manipulative or use objects that kids can actually count to get a sense of what that means. It does one of two things. When a child says the number two, they can say that word two, but when a child counts one, two, they get a visual representation of what two objects actually means, okay? Once they begin to count more, then they get the sense that more objects equals a higher number. This is very important, okay? The other thing that's really important by using manipulatives to teach kids how to count rather than just asking them to count is kids do make, can intuitively understand probably one of the hardest parts about our number system, which is the concept that once you have 10 ones, that equals a 10, okay? And therefore you move from the ones place to the tens place, okay? So if I ask a child to count, once they get to 10, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 10, then I can show the child, okay, that the 10 ones is the same as a tens piece, okay? So it makes intuitive sense that we have different place values. Place values when the numbers are in the ones place, and then once we formulate a new 10, then it shifts over uh, to the tens place, okay? I'm gonna now show an exercise where I had my child uh, essentially do this um, using these manipulatives. You can compare it to the initial video where he's just counting. Three, now here's what you can do instead four, in order to give kids a better sense of numbers. So I've asked him to essentially four, count in the same way. But as you can see here, I've introduced manipulatives that allow him to use the ones pieces to essentially get a sense for what the numbers actually represent. Seven, 20, 29, 30. Now this is the most important part of the process. For a child to recognize that once you have 10 individual ones, it's the same as the tens piece that moves over to the tens place value. 10, 20, 30. And to reinforce that, you see I've asked him to count the tens just by tens to make sure he understands that. So overall, this has been one of the best exercises, especially for young children, to not only allow them to count, but allow them to understand what those numbers actually mean. So in that video, you can see that instead of just counting, he's using the manipulatives. He's able to translate the fact that once you get to 10 individual uh, ones, that's the same as a tens piece. And then I reinforce that by having them count what's left in tens, okay? By doing this, you not only allow kids to understand what the numbers mean intuitively, you allow them to use the manipulatives to get a better sense of what larger numbers and smaller numbers essentially mean. And in time, kids will not just be able to recite the numbers all the way up to 100, but they will have a greater sense of so what that means. 
And then when it comes to mathematics, when you have to explain the ones place and the tens place and the hundredth place, they will intuitively um, be able to understand that. And so instead of just asking your kids to count, here's a really useful exercise that you can try. Thank you guys all for your feedback. For those of you that are not subscribed, feel free to hit the subscribe button. I look forward to sharing more content. Take care.